Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on PAC TV Government Access Channel for broadcast and future dates. Comments made in open session will be recorded. First agenda is uh, 7.40, so we have a few minutes to get from here to there. I I'd like to request a certificate of compliance for Stone Metal Farms EEP file number SE 56788. That's the station. No, it's not the station. It's uh, it's also full of property. Isn't it? No, this, no, that's and, Hannah, and this is Hannah's sound. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, we have a plan that's signed by the engineer it's one of those things if we had a whole lot of time we probably could go in there and find multi things different from the number of different plans in other words it's a it's a multi-year different plans change bridges to culverts to bridges to everything else back and forth but whatever it is has been there now for a few years untouched it's working it looks good. We need to get it, get it off so they can, <clears throat> because we've told them they can't do any more building till they, you know, get a certificate on what was done. It's been through three different owners, and you know, there's, there's no major problem with anything that we have any dealing with. But we probably could find things if we really wanted to, but we don't stand to gain anything. One way or the other. I'll second it then. Okay, so motion's been made and seconded to grant the certificate of compliance for Stone Metal Farm DEP file number SD 56 788. Any discussion on that? Can I just ask you where, where is that located? It's almost on the Pembroke uh, the line? Kingston line on Dallas Street. Which is Station Street? Station. Station, Station yeah. Street. Which, Elizabeth and Emily Drive. There's a new solar farm going there. It's actually all done. Huh? The solar farm's all in. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks like they were tying into the box the other day when I went by there. In Kingston. Yeah. Station Street. Yeah. All right. Any questions on that one? Um, well, actually, yeah, one thing, you said we could find things. Is there anything that we might want to be concerned about? No. There's no, in other words, it's, it would, it's, uh, there might be all sorts of little things because there's been so many different plans and so many different owners and all that that, you know, if you went through a fine-tooth comb, you might find it, you know, that was supposed to be it. But it's good the way it is. It, it passes everything. It works. It's so... Um, and it's been there. It isn't like it's new. It's been there for a couple of three years while it went through court battles and as to who really owned what and where. And now they're ready to put some more, put some of the houses in that have been going on for 10 or 12 years. It's already been all mocked out and everything else is already approved. I think you're better off to um, not do a list of small things but to wait and... Yeah, it's, 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 it's got very involved because it, for a while the town, part of the work was being done by the town. They were putting water pipes in and drainage and everybody had a hand into the into the fire. So you don't know who was really responsible for what, but it's all done. And it's not major, you said. It's yeah. obviously, you know, not anything. It's one of those things you can go back, it's not worth getting involved. And mm -hmm. if you do this, try to rock this project thing, originally had a bridge being built yeah. down there and then that got changed to what is there now which is a whole lot better than having a bridge yep, yep. but again like you say you, know, you tend to over guideline things and you over yeah. then it, you end up doing more damage than you do good at the end of course when people really do. Okay. all in favor to issue a certificate of compliance all right, all right. All right. Uh, ongoing business, we have wild costume, which was already taken care of and fenced off down by the Christmas Street place. Yep. Thank you for that. Yep. Uh, yeah. Medicaid to ball fields, nothing new on any of those. Under administrative business, I mean, there's some things we should at least bring up so in case somebody doesn't read the mail all the way. 
the, uh, the third item first, and, uh, Conway School of Landscape Design. Now, they're the people that we're contracting with yeah, for the yes. open yes. space, yep. and they're going to have an on-site here in January with a lot of the students that will be working on it. And I'd like to see as many people as can, you know, can be here to give them a, as much hand, no, show that we do have some enthusiasm. Do we have a date, a specific date yet? Yeah. We don't have, a, oh, we have January. a date, but not a time, I think. January 10th, I think. I think it was. it's January 10th. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday, January 10th, it does. We haven't got a time yet on it. <coughs> and there is a bill in here for the tuition? Yes, uh, 3500 And any other email from Wildlands Trust? Uh, I think I think that you've done okay. I, I haven't seen. I haven't seen it. Yet. No, the gentleman's name was Aussie that I had spoken with. So I don't know if this is one yeah. of the administrative guys yeah. or, or what. I don't know. They want to do some work, trying to get some grant money to do some more work up around the Indian Head conservation lands that we share along with Hanover. Yep, that was right on the top page right there, remember? Yes. Second one doesn't say 7.30 instead of 7.50? No, that says 7.40 and 7.50. Uh, I thought it said 7.30 instead of 50. Wasn't that a typo? <laughs> I think that. Well, it is 7.40 right now. Yeah, it is 7.40. Um, good evening, I'm Brian Murphy. Uh, I represent the uh, owners of the uh, property, 260-280 Oak Street. Um, we were asked to file an RDA uh, regarding the, uh, uh, the lot. Um, uh, I had had Brad uh, Holmes, who's here with me tonight, go out uh, about a year ago uh, and investigate um, uh, potential wetlands that had been, that was on a GIS uh, map, um, and Brad can tell you uh, more, but uh, essentially thought we didn't find any wetlands. Um, subsequently, uh, we had, um, I had been in front of the planning board over last winter, and uh, we had, um, uh, we had actually got some new zoning through uh, town meeting um, for industrial A. Um, and in the process of those conversations with the planning board, uh, we talked about clearing the site and um, uh, we were in agreement to, to do it. And uh, uh, little did I know, and maybe shame on me, I didn't see that there was a miscellaneous, you know, no clearing um, article in the town town bylaws number 19 I know it now um, but anyways uh, I think that kind of triggered some some uh, interest in what was going on and well we're here obviously specifically just to talk about the RDA so Brad can talk about the site uh, if you want sure 
I bought the property um, November of 2015 um, and the surrounding area as I would on any typical site. Uh, Mass JS had an area shaded that uh, they had a mass wetland on it. And within that area, there, there was no wetland, there were no any, there, there were no um, connections to other wetlands. It was a heavily uh, forested white pine parcel, upland soils. Um, there weren't any signs of vegetative wetlands or streams or water bodies or any of, it, any of the other sort. So I put together a, a memo to document that and gave it to uh, Brian Murphy here. And other than that, there's really not much to report, just an upland, upland property. I did alert MassGIS that they had an error in their mapping, which is um, not something that isn't, um, that, that, it, that is, it is routine to have sites that they have mapped that are, as a, wetlands that need to be investigated and, and aren't. What it is, is it's a guy in the U.S. and uh, in, in the DEP Boston office using aerial imagery mapping out what he thinks may be wetlands. So it's not uh, something that is relied on until you have someone uh, verify it on the ground. So again, there there are no vegetative wetland resource areas on or near the site. <coughs> Brad, I think no, that's part of where our problem is. We we rely on them, you know, when we see something there and there's been no paperwork right. through here, so we're saying, you know, whatever, flag comes up and says, let's find out what's really going on. We have one piece of, one document, and the computer selling us, so we have some, uh, you know, wetland, and then, you know, had, nobody said otherwise. Now you've said right. otherwise, you know, and you've done, you've done the groundwork. Groundwork is always better than the... The guesswork from the way they the imaging and all that. Right. Yeah, it's a great tool to use for yeah. for everybody to, to hone in on and and, it, and that's what you know. Being in your shoes, I would certainly do the same thing. Yeah, and and that's why we'd like you no. Know, we would prefer someone coming to us ahead of time and saying, "Is this you no know, what we right or wrong?" Mm -hmm. Rather than after the fact, because what I got and I know Mary must have too is. All of a sudden, oh my God, what are they doing up here? Nothing, as far as I know. I mean, nobody has, nobody has talked to me about it until you see the big open area. And it's, I feel much better if somebody comes to me and it says, what's going on? Oh yeah, they're all taken care of, and then it's done with. When I act like I don't know, then they start wanting to question it further. Right. You know how that is. I understand, I mean, yeah. yeah. So a stitch in time is worth a lot. On some of these projects, uh, I'm moving close. Second. Okay. All in favor, close. Aye. Okay. Will we issue a negative for mm -hmm. negative no. four? Negative four. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. The word described doesn't in the request is not in the area subject to protection under the yeah. wetland protection act. You're right. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Every time it goes off, I do that. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so the motion's been made to issue a negative four. Oh, yeah. Second. Okay. Any discussion or questions on that? Okay. okay. All in favor? Right. Opposed? Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, did you have a question? Yeah, I'm sorry, I came in so late. Uh, my name's Linda Mitchell. I live on Mayflower um, Road. And uh, I didn't get any information uh, prior, even prior to this meeting about the property on Oak Street. So um, I just didn't, didn't it's, I'm kind of new to coming to meetings. So I, I was wanting to know what the meeting covered, if you could tell me briefly. On, on the Oak Street, on the hearing that we just had? Right, right, uh, with Mr. Murphy, the property uh, across from Tomasi Nursery. Okay, yeah, so it must have been approved previously for construction zonings and, and whatnot from there, right? Uh, from what I understand. Well, that's industrial, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's industrial, but nothing, right. but nothing specific. Right, yeah. no specific right. plans. It's just but that the land is, is industrial. Right, the land is industrial. And they supposedly had the right to clear it, but they, 
the computer showed that there might have been wetland areas in there. And so they had a ground survey which showed there is no wetland. And that's what this hearing was about, was to get the two of them together. We have no control of what's going on there. We only control if it's, if it's in a wetland or within 100 foot of a wetland. And would they have a special uh, expert do the survey on whether it was wetlands or not? Yes, that's the gentleman's just up. That, yeah. that, that is, that's his trade. He is a professional wetlands expert. And he so. goes out and checks it all. And does, in this case, he must have done some borings because he said it was the, talking about the soils and all that. So there was no wetlands there? No wetlands there, no. So uh, Mr. Murphy's going to be authorized to build in there? Well, we, do, we don't authorize Mr. Murphy anything other than telling him no that there are no wetlands. It doesn't affect this board. Oh, and so where would that be carried from, from here on? Probably planning, planning I believe, is the next, is the people <coughs> planning yeah, what, depending on what he wants to build, depending on which applications he submits for which oh, parcel. Do uh, you know why the land was cleared, you know, so rapidly? I, I talked to uh, Matthew in the planning board a few weeks ago and he said that they had no idea what was going on. So from my understanding was that Mr. Murphy or somebody he hired just went in there and cleared up the land and nobody nobody in the town had, had any idea what was what and was going on. That appears to be <coughs> legal. It appears to be legal. They can you know if he owns the land he can clear the land. I see, yeah. Yeah. You know, whether and now but he can't build on the land until such time as he gets the right permits. Oh, I see. So this is the first process here. Yeah, this is part of the of the big process. And when they appear before these boards like this, this early, mm -hmm. we have no power to ask them what he has in mind. Oh, okay. so All we can do is what is right there now. Oh, what your, yeah. your, your, your what job is. What our jurisdiction is and what we can actually address. Right. Okay, I appreciate your help. I'm sorry I walked in no so No worries, late. no worries. Any questions, please. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you. Have a good day. Come in. Yeah, I will. Do we have to go there? We no, have to go. Open, open the hearing. We'll fix this one. This oh, one's okay. got nothing. Yep. All right. All right. Time get out of here and you all can get. Yeah. Okay, RDA. Yeah, 750, yeah. so we're going to open the uh, hearing for an RDA for 30 Pine Circle. Uh, checklist repair and maintenance of previously permitted dock. Right. Now, is there, they want to rebuild the dock that's there. It's, it's permitted. It's fine. They're doing the exact same thing. Mary and I have looked over the plans. There's really nothing that we're concerned about. Moving close. Second. Second. Okay. Any other third? Negative three. Negative three. Will we issue a negative three? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? You're all set. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so we have, I have, do you guys want to close the hearing or do you want to come back? Yeah, we close it. We don't close really have anything, right? Just the minutes. If you want to do those. Will we accept the minutes? Oh, I second. Perfect. Any discussion? February, right? February. It's February last year and, this, and last meeting. Yeah. February 22nd and December 5th, 2016. I didn't see, I read it and didn't see anything very controversial. Yeah. Okay. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the minute meetings of February 22nd, 2016 and December 5th, 2016. All in favor? Aye. Close. Meeting. I move and close. Second. 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 Excellent, guys. I think, yeah, I, I think you have fun. Uh, next week, we have meeting. Oh, yeah, that we have one hearing oh. on for next week. Ross did the filing, and he's not going to be here. Oh. So, January 9th. Oh, oh that's that okay? the Yeah, unless, uh, unless, unless something. Okay. Right. That's the end of the meeting. Yeah. Oh, we have to. Yeah, okay. 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 yeah we voted to adjourn. Oh, we just voted it. We just voted it. Motion was made to close it. Second it. And vote it up. You guys want to see the pages be killed? Is that the problem? They're not going to get killed. He says 45 to 7, they're going to lose. Now.
opportunity to meet these people. I'll, I'll, I'll come back and get this stuff. Okay. I don't think anybody's going to steal Mr. Hannah's. Uh, okay. Are you guys all saying everything? Yep. Thank you. Merry Christmas. 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 Don't let the deer punch you off. You won't no. land. I, mean, I had just right up everybody heads up. Back. I had the window out of the hammer on jack. I, okay. sink, I take it the plexiglass cut. I thought it was cut with a skill saw. Yeah. Well, one, of, one, well, one of the guys that works for us works for Shia Town Glass, so he's going to take it and get it fixed for us. Nice. So, nice. And I bring it up next time I have somebody interested in the Eagle Scout project to work on the building. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I think it's the right thing to do. Bye, next time. Yeah. Have a good Christmas. So, are we off? Yeah, it's not recording. They're, they're not. They're not coming back, right? No, it's all over. Okay, I just want to make. That's that would be a change. Did you just plug in? No. Was that mine? No, I'm just untying a little bit. It's my angle for part of my life. Oh, I can't believe we're done already. It's crazy.